Sitting here listening to the uh, radio. I just got here. I am in Colleen, Texas, and um, I'm just just got here, and I'll be here for the night. And um, waiting on some of these storms to blow through. Uh, Monday, I ran through a hailstorm, which is pretty cool. It's just little old bitty things, but anyways, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ain't it fun? Wonderful, hey, eh? hey. So, uh, sitting here talking with uh, someone on Facebook, which, by the way, uh, if you're not in you know, on the conversation on Facebook, you're missing out on some of the most intelligent talk of all of the internets. Yeah, I mean, I mean, intelligent talk now. You know, I've got a couple of Jeff Gordon friends on my Facebook, and and it really says a lot about them who who are on there that have to put up with all my Jeff Gordon um, rants. I want to tell you some few facts about Jeff Gordon. Facts that you may not know. Jeff Gordon was born. A man, a boy, and then he had a sex change around age, oh, I don't know, I ain't that very familiar, I just know. It's also a fact that Jeff Gordon is a woman. Jeff Gordon's kids came out of his buttocks. Ingrid Gordon, you know, the old model that all you uh, perverts like to look at, you know, that's supposedly married to Jeff Gordon, has got a kickstand. Dale Earnhardt was the first man to win at the Brickyard. In the 2013 Daytona 500, for the first time ever in NASCAR history, like two women started at the front row, Danica Patrick and Jeff Gordon. It's a sad thing that Danica Patrick is more of a man than Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon has no real talent other than the fact that, well, uh, this is a rated G program here, never mind. Ray Evernham, Jeff Gordon's former uh, crew chief, gave Jeff Gordon all his talent. Why? Because he cheated. Look it up. History, right there. Same with Chad Knauss. There's a reason why they called them the Rainbow Warriors back in the day. How many Jeff Gordon fans does it take to screw in a light bulb? 100. One to hold the light bulb. And 99 to turn the house. So it goes without saying, I am not a Jeff Gordon fan. I'm not a Jeff Gordon fan. I never have been. Uh, I was a Dale Earnhardt fan. And, um, you know, most real Dale Earnhardt fans are still not Jeff Gordon fans. Even though uh, the old chosen one, uh, Jeff uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., that, that, you know, went over to become a teammate of uh, Jeff Gordon and they kind of fell on the Jeff Gordon bandwagon. I remember them saying, how they would say, you know, I like Dale Earnhardt Jr. I think he's the best up out, out there on the NASCAR. But I still hate that Jeff Gordon. I don't care if they're teammates or what. And now, all the Dale Earnhardt Jr. fans talk a lot more or less redneck now. And they say, I like Dale Earnhardt Jr. I also like Jeff Gordon. Yeah, buddy. That concludes the NASCAR section of the video. And some of you are saying, thank God. So, Matthew Hill, you made... You made the trucker brag chew. I hope it's what you wanted. 
I hope it's exactly how you'd hoped it ended up. That I'd be on here praising Jeff Gordon. So I threw a question out there on Facebook. Uh, just a while ago and got a lot of good responses from it. And uh, it keeps on coming, actually. And uh, anyways, uh, the question is, what do you prefer? Uh, or what do you like better? Kenworth or Peterbilt? And um, I've driven both. Both are large cars. Both are big trucks. But, um, you know, my favorite is the uh, Peterbilt because they usually have more room. At least the 379s. Um, and uh, what was it? The 387s? Gosh, I had one when I was training with Warner when I was a trainer over there. I had a W900 and then they wanted me to train, you know, and um, and I was like, no, this ain't working in a W900, it's barely big enough for me. And then there's such a 387, you know, one of those anteater looking aerodynamic things, I think it was 387, it's been a few years ago. And um, you know, that was real comfortable and uh, real big and roomy, a lot like this truck, but uh, a lot more and I'm blurry. A lot more bigger, a lot more roomy than this truck, the 387 was. And I liked it. Uh, the 379, I've had a couple of those, or no, actually one of those. I've had two W9s. And uh, it was, it was alright. I mean, I like the long hood. I mean, it's something to get used to. Um, but I liked it. And, um, the cab was, yeah, it was low, but it was wide. Uh, but the W900s, they look nice. They really do to me. But to, that's it. You know, um, outside of the looks, I've had two W9s. One of them was just a regular sleeper. The other one was a studio sleeper. A studio sleeper had like... I've actually got a video out there. Um, oh gosh, what's it called? It's a Trucker Rag Chew. Back, it's like in the first ten. Actually, it's probably about five or six, seven, maybe eight. Right in there, it's a uh, Trucker Rag Chew. Gosh, I wish I knew which one it was. Remembered. But look back in my Estrella days, back in 2010, um, in the earlier trucker rag chews, I can't remember for the life of me which number it was. Uh, but it's one of the... I did a tour of it. And um, of course this one is kind of junked out. But the studio sleeper, I like the concept of a studio sleeper in the back where they have the back bunk, the, the, the bed on the bottom. Folds out into a couch and, and you know, into a bed and to a couch. That's nice. I love that. Especially when I'm doing videos. Man. Stupid. Anyways. Uh, uh, I mean, we're going to show off in back of a Home Depot parking lot. Or, you know, behind a Home Depot. I mean, who are you impressing? I mean, it's one thing when there's girls around. There ain't no girls around here. I, I don't see no Jeff Gordon fans. <laughs> I, I basically did a tour of it, you know, and and it's just roomy it's got a lot of cool features in the studio sleeper but outside of that driving down the road it's not really fun and so I de definitely prefer Peterbilt over uh, K Whopper um, like I said they're, they're, they're both made by the same company but they do have different concepts alright so uh I am done with my first truck on this Wednesday. Beautiful morning. I do want to uh, thank everybody for watching these videos. And um, all the glory goes to God for everything he's done for me and uh, and done for all y'all out there as well. Even if you don't believe in the man, but I do. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. 73. Oh.